So in the last lecture, to find out the average roughness or the CLA value of roughness or the RA value of roughness, we already discussed the direct formula for this wave and for this wave, right? Let me quickly recall for square wave or step wave or rectangular wave to find out the value of RA, simply find out the peak to valley height. For example, for this shape, how much is peak to valley height? H plus H, 2H, right? H is the amplitude on one side. So peak to valley height, you calculate and then you divide that by 2. That's your value of RA for square wave or step wave or rectangular wave. For triangular wave, if it looks like this or it may look like this also, it may look like this also, right? For both of these cases, what is the direct formula? Simply find out peak to valley height again. Here on one side it is H, so total is going to be total is going to be 2h from here up to here. This entire one is going to be 2h. That is your PVH peak to valley height. So for a triangular wave, it's going to be peak to valley height divided by 4. I have already done all the discussion, derivation, different things I have already discussed. So I am not repeating all of that here. In this one, we are going to talk about sine wave. For such a shape, how to find out the value of average roughness quick within seconds without doing any calculation of area but for that I will show you the logic the concept behind it I am not going to give you the direct formula that use this you must know from where that formula came what are the limitations of that formula what are the mistakes possible in that formula and then I will give you this formula here so if we have been given a sine wave like this where H is the amplitude on one side and this W, again I will recall you that whenever you have been given a wave, do not remember, do not forget that it has some lambda value, it has some wavelength because there are certain questions, especially with such sine wave, you may be given this much is the wavelength, this much is the half wavelength, you must not get confused, always remember repeating pattern you find out, this is the starting point. This is half wave, this is one full wave and it is ending here. This is the repeating pattern. If you just pick this one and then you repeat it and then you repeat it, you are going to get entire full wave, right or not? So that is your, this is your full wave. So W, what is W representing? W is representing half wavelength, half wavelength. This is your lambda by 2 because wave starts here and ends here. So that is your wavelength. Got it? H is the amplitude on one side or maximum value. Now, this is the formula. This is the generalized formula of CLA or RA value. Summation of area we were doing, we did it for this wave, for this wave. Both of them, it was simple direct formula because it was either a square or a rectangle or a triangle. So direct formula we could apply. Here it is simple but not that direct because it's a sine wave here. For that you need to, if you remember the formula that how much is the area of sine wave on one side, perfect. You will be able to again do the same, just put the value, divide with L. But if you don't remember it, then what? Or what if question give you some other function here, some other function which is not a trigonometric sine function. So that's why you must know what to do in those cases. Here, as I told you, it's a, it's a sine wave, right? So if we are going to define this wave like this, like this, where let's say this is your x direction, this is your x direction, and this is your variation, you can call it y. So it is a function of x, which is sine x, and not even just sine x, its amplitude may have a value, highest value, more than one, right? 2 sin x, 3 sin x, 5 sin x. So let's call it A naught sin x is the entire expression for this fluctuation. Now, to find out the area, since we can't directly apply the formula, what can we do here? What do we do for such functions? I'm sure this is not the first time you are hearing. This is material science. This is metrology that we are studying. Almost last 2-3 subjects which we cover, right? This is not the first subject that you cover in mechanical engineering. You have to cover so many things before this 
when you reach metrology and material science, right? So this discussion we have done in strength of materials, in uh, fluid mechanics, in theory of machine, in mechanics, in machine design, so many places we have discussed this, that when do we integrate, how do we integrate, what is the need of integration. So I am not repeating that again here for such a simple case. Here we know that to find out the area, we will have to integrate this continuous function. So what we are going to do, we are going to find out the area by integrating it, this function y dx, we will just consider a small strip here, which is having a height of y and width of dx and that small strip we will find and then we will add for all, for all the length that we need to consider. So this is going to give us the area. Let's say we are integrating it from 0. Let's say, let's say this is your, this is your, this is your 0 point. This is your 0 point up to a length L. It could be half wave, it could be full wave. We will come to that. Divide by that length, sampling length, right? Here, if we move further, a direct way, a simpler way to write this because you will be doing integration here. You may have some complex terms here. So we can write it like this also, right? 1 by L multiplied by integration of y dx. Now come to the, let's discuss the main point where discussion, uh, where mistake is possible. In this case, integration is simple, but two types of mistakes are possible, which are very specific to the case of average roughness for a sine uh, profile, for a sine wave profile. First is, that if you have been given some function, let's say the function that we were discussing here, y is equal to a naught sin x. If you put this function, if you put this function directly here in this expression and integrate, you will not get the correct answer in many cases. Because by the value of sin x can be negative also. Na? The value of sin x is not always positive. Na? It can be negative also. If you look at this function, it is 0, it is 180 and after 180 degree, I am putting it in degree. Radian also we can write, pi by 2, this is pi. Let's write actually radian only, that's better. So this is pi by 2, this is pi. So we know that the value of sine after it crosses pi becomes negative. And you can see that after pi, it's going to be negative, right? But here in this formula, it is area, summation of area. Remember the discussion in last lectures, you cannot have negative area. Either it will be zero. Any area, either it will not exist or it will exist. If it is existing, it's positive. There's nothing called as negative area. So if you do the blunder of directly putting the value of y in this expression and then you integrate it, there are some cases where you may get the answer. For example, if you just integrate from zero to pi, Sort of it is fine, right? Because the values for entire part is positive only. So you will get your answer. But if you are not careful about integration sign, maybe you took the full wave, you did 0 to 2 pi, then your answer is going to be wrong. You will get 0 answer in that case. Right or not? You can just put it and check it. You just put this value here, integrate it from 0 to 2 pi. Why? Because here this area is positive and here the same area is negative. Value is same, sign is different. So if you integrate it from here up to 2 pi, your answer will come out to be 0, which is wrong answer. Average roughness is not 0 for this case. Yeah? For any question, if you solve and get average roughness as 0, something is wrong somewhere because no surface in the world is perfectly finished with 0 roughness, right? We have already discussed that. That was the beginning of this uh, discussion of this unit. So their question is asking you the value of roughness. It has given you some roughness and you are calculating and getting the zero answer. That's not possible. So you must be doing some mistake somewhere. If zero is the answer that you are getting, if profile is given, variation is given. But anyway, coming back to our point that always remember that this actually is not any general mathematical uh, your integration. You are integrating to find out the arithmetic mean of absolute value of area. That is why you have to put a mod here, a mod here. It has to be a mod which ensures that you are considering the positive values or as I as I have written this, you can write it down like this. So this is your, this is your expression 
for our a calculation this is the mod value this was the first possible mistake that you may forget about mod second mistake in integration is range from where to where what is the value of l that you are considering that is also important here let us discuss that part so for this case as i told you we already know the expression of y generalized expression which is equal to a not sin x correct 0 to l we are integrating and here let us say we are considering half wave remember last lecture i told you this is half wave this area if you take entire area that's your full wave so right now we are considering half wave for sine wave it is from 0 up to pi right 0 to pi we are integrating so l value is going to be pi this length also is pi this length is pi integration will also be from 0 to pi let's quickly put the value so 1 by pi 0 to pi mod of a naught sin x dx correct now if you move one step ahead you will realize that we don't need this mod here why because here for 0 to pi it is positive only now so mod will come into action when a negative value is coming then we need to define the function for mod for 0 to pi if you put mod or if you don't put mod answer is not going to change it's positive only in that range so this is the integration that you have to do now now let us proceed what are the things which can be taken out as uh, out of integration so a naught is a constant so we can write it as a naught divided by pi and then integration of sin x is minus cos x from 0 to pi right putting the value a naught by pi this is minus cos pi minus cos 0 right and the value of cos pi is minus 1 so this is going to be minus of minus 1 which is plus 1 and minus minus plus and minus cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so this is minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 again basic mathematics school level mathematics this is going to be 2 a naught by pi if you remember what exactly is this representing what is 2 a naught by what is 2 a naught here this h is equal to a naught right or not this h let me write it more clearly this h is equal to a naught which is representing the amplitude on one side of it what is 2 a naught this this entire height from peak to valley which means it is peak to valley height divided by pi but we have only done it for half wave the question might be coming to your mind just like we discussed for this case and this case we considered half wave then we considered full wave we solve it for both of them here also both we considered half and full we solve both of them here half wave we have considered we have got this expression but will the answer and expression be same if we consider the full wave if we consider this entire full wave will it be same absolutely yes it will be same again i want you to pause and think why do i need to repeat we have already discussed this i have already spent 10 minutes in last lecture to explain this because this is not going to change this expression is not going to change for this first half and second half this value is same because it is area positive value you have to take whatever is the area here whatever is the value same will be the value for second half as well whatever is the value for first half same is the value of area for second half this shape is same this and this shape so for this much whatever is the area whatever is the length same is true for this one also only thing it is negative in a way it is on the bottom side of mean value but it is area so you have to take the positive value only so essentially this expression does not change whether you take first half second half or the entire part for all for full wave also this expression will remain same means if this expression is same means this expression is same means eventually this entire thing will be same steps may be different values eventually here you will be putting signs the limits may be different but eventually your answer is going to be this only 2 a naught by pi so as we discussed just now 
that for the case of sine wave, the value of average roughness or CLA value or RA value is going to be, you can calculate it directly by the formula of peak to valley height, just like you were doing for other cases, divided by pi. How to calculate peak to valley height? How much is the total height? For example, you have been given y is equal to a0 sin x. So peak to valley height would be 2 times of a0. 2 times of a0. a0 is equal to h by. This is the h value. On one side, how much is its height? Maximum height. That same as the amplitude. That same as given by this coefficient. That value you have to take. You multiply that with 2. That will give you the peak to valley height. And then you divide it with pi. You have got your answer directly within seconds without having to go through integration because integration involves two types of mistakes. You can prevent that. You can save your time. But as I told you, for these cases, same thing I will repeat for sine wave as well. You have to be careful that the function is given in this format. If you have been given some complicated function, which I don't think is going to come, if you just look at the questions of uh, average roughness value, CLA value, they are pretty much straightforward over last 40-45 years. But still, you know the standard formula, you know the direct formula as well. Depending upon the question, you can apply and get the answer.